Now, look, I set this up perfectly for you. Mm-hmm. When you go to play cards, you put them over here. I can't promise that'll happen. In a very clear play area. Sc- area. I can't promise that'll happen. I'm just letting you all know I did the work meticulously, making sure that the recording would capture all of this and that Madi wouldn't have an excuse. I can't promise that'll happen. Hi, I'm Jared. Hi, I'm Madi. And we're from The Broken Seal. Today, we're going to be playing Robot Quest. Arena. Um, <laughs> this is a Kickstarter. Your face isn't even on screen right now. <laughs> this is a Kickstarter. <laughs> uh, came recently. It has cute little robots. As you can see. Look at the pictures that I'll put up as well. That I took of them. Um, it reminded me a lot of uh, Robot Wars from when I was a kid. So I was like, awesome, I'll get it. And it's a deck builder. So, you know, win-win. I'm going to go first. Uh, we've, we've allocated our people. I didn't say pick because Monty didn't pick. But also... I know Madi wants the pink and the girls, so she got the girls and the pink character. All right. Well, I'm going to place first, and I don't know anything about the game, so I'm going to uh, go here. Also, so uh, let's get these. Don't you need the cards out? I mean, I don't technically need them out. Uh, I gave Madi a rundown of how to play the game, but as you can see on here, the batteries are how we generate uh, energy. The cost of the things are up here. Oh. Um, we can attack each other, but then there are also these purple function or blue function cards that give you like, it's usually like you can move or you can do this thing. Mm. Um, oh, I didn't tell you what these do. You just can't go through. Okay. Uh, but you can't move diagonal anyways, so. Yeah, but like, but you yeah. can go like that. Okay. I think you also get blocked, like you get cover from them as well. Um, these tiles are obstacles that block movement and line of sight. So in theory, like let's say I was here mm-hmm. and you tried to attack me that way, you couldn't. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna place him there. I'm placing Yarl, or Yari. I don't know if that is an L or not. I think the name is, the name of the robot is the top name. No, the, the name of the robot. No, it's the top name. The name of the robot is the top thing? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I still don't know the kid's name. <laughs> Yari or Yarl, but uh, I think it's a I because they, they look like it's all capital. So you, who are you placing? Petri. Okay. Or Petri. When is it my turn? To place, yeah. Okay. We're just going to place right now, and then we'll go. I'll place. I can't. Oh, that's right. So uh, Pug's <laughs> special ability, she can spawn anywhere. And mm-hmm. that's the and only the place you can buy. And the nine spaces in the center of the board. Yeah, so that's the only place you can buy is in the center of the board. So. Oh, nice. That's why she's special. Cool. All right. Then I'm going to place. Uh, I'm going to be an asshole. I'm going to place here. No, I'm not. <laughs> go up there. Oh, that's his butt. There we go. What's his name? His name is Crate. That oh. makes more sense because I thought his, the guy's name was Crate, and I was like, that's a weird name for a guy. I'm going to play Strider <laughs> here. All right, so it looks like we're ready to go, and you know what that means. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I have eye itches. It's not I my know. Fault. It wasn't like I didn't plan it on that. It's just as soon as I went to go do it, you went to go scratch your eye. <laughs> Uh, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check down below for ways that you can support us, either through YouTube memberships or on Patreon. All right, Mike. Thank you so much. I'm first. Um, so I'm going to move uh, Petri. Three. Uh, well, use Jump Jet to move two. You may move over obstacles this turn, which this counts as an obstacle. Mm-hmm. But I could go, can't move diagonally anyway. Yeah. One, two. And then one, two. I'm like, what's up, yo? And then I'm going I'm to hit you with my hammer. Damn. Sometimes low tech is the best tech. Rolf said it. Uh, so you take one damage that goes to me. Damn. And that is it. So when you end your turn, everything goes to discard. Everything? Everything. Even things you didn't use? Any things you didn't use. Okay. I'm going to first use a hammer on you. Convenient. Thank you. And then I have three batteries. Sorry. You're right. <laughs> and three batteries. Um, and I'm going to get... Because I can buy in here, right? Yes, you can. I'm going to get the... And they, re- they replace immediately. So in theory, you could buy and then buy what comes out. Oh. Now, would you like help with what these do? Um, Pit stop. It gives you one victory point, two energy, and it repairs you three. Ground pound. 
uh, deals damage to each enemy robot in melee range, knock each of them back one space. So like that's how you can knock people into like mm -hmm. hazards. Pogo stick move two. Uh, you can move over obstacles and over robots. The first time you move, uh, you pass over each robot, they take one damage. Air cannon, it has zero attack, but knock the target back four spaces. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, Pogo stick again. Mm -hmm. And then the heavy hammer does two damage as opposed to one. Rivet gun does two damage and is ranged. I'll do a Pogo stick. That's your Pogo. And then... Leave a comment if you know what that's from. What is that? Uh, tackle. Melee, one damage, one attack, and knocks the target back one space. Um, I'll do a tackle. Oh, yeah, you didn't move at all. Wait for that. I'm like Marty's card bitch. And I'll do the pit stop. That's pretty strong for a one cost. And then I will move with my jump, jump jet. jets. All right. It's, an obstacle, right, it's an obstacle. I'm just gonna leave this thing open so I can make sure. I do want a, a card or something, some kind of handout that has what all these spaces do. Um, yeah, it just says tile. So, uh. obstacle robots are obstacles that block movement and line of sight. Some tiles are also obstacles and block line of sight. But I'm going to say, since it's a jump jet, specifically, you would just jump over. Okay. All right. Fill that card up. Remember, folks, please and thank you goes a long way. <laughs> Whatever, Jared. All right. So I'm going to spend three battery to get enhanced battery, nice. advanced battery. And then um, <laughs> they're enhanced. I'm going to use jump jets. And because uh, crate is so hefty, he needs plus one to move. Oh, it's plus one to push crate. I think that's what I'm, am, am I thinking that right? I closed the book, even though I said specifically I was going to leave it open. I don't know. Push action. You may spend two movement to push a robot. So yeah, it's for you. It's a bad thing for you. Okay. So jump jets. One, two. I'm looking at you. Uh, and then um, my hammer does nothing. I, I like smash the ground okay that's my turn i'm gonna play jump jets to go one two looking at you and then i'm gonna play three batteries to get an advanced battery oh i was like you're not in the shop um and then i'm gonna play oh boy this one battery for that air cannon thank you Ooh. Damn it. Um, interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I will... I'm going to buy Hypercharge for three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And then... And then I'll buy Wrecking Ball for two. And this is not Aeon's End, so we will shuffle our discard when we okay. run out. Can you please fill up the card shop? I'd rather not, but sure. Advanced AI, plus four move. Oh. You may put a card from your discard pile on the top of your deck. That's not fair. Well, I feel like you have to have a turn like I had coming up. I do. Okay. <laughs> I want the jackhammer. She's jacking it. And then the pogo stick. Wait, do you want to wait? Oh, yeah. Wait, let me see what comes out. Tesla coil. The pogo stick. Mine's going to be jumping all over the goddamn place. Ooh, another wrecking ball. All right, well, I have another buying round. Vibes. A little so, bit. So, I'm going to go with the advanced AI. And oh, rocket powered skateboard Ooh. plus two move pushing costs one move less this turn. I'm gonna spend two. 
I'm gonna spend two to move. One, two. You can do that? Two yeah, remember? Okay. That's the And it doesn't when I play, it doesn't have to be one person then another person. I can just play whoever yeah. I want. Okay. Like the first round I used all uh okay. pet Petri. I'm gonna use hammer on your guy. Hammer. That costs one extra attack to do damage to. No, it doesn't. I think so. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm big and chunky. I'm big. Can I get the wrecking ball? And then the... She came in like a wrecking ball. Command V. Ground pound. Ground pound. She's pounding. Omni wheels. Plus three. You may move and push diagonally this turn. I messed up once because I was moving this person. But I still blocked something. You bought with that? Okay. Yeah, so that's that, allowed? Yes. Okay. Because I did the same thing. I, okay. I was like, how do you buy? And then I was like, oh, like you have first. I joke when, when I did it with you. Um, all right. I'm going to play Hypercharge. Draw a card. The next attack card you play this turn deals plus one damage for each function that you have in play. Well, that was a gamble that did not pay off. And I guess I'll use Jump Jets. To go, uh, actually, I'm so I'm gonna use jump jets to go one, two. I'm gonna use two battery to push you one. Ow. So you take, let me open up my book again because I closed it. <laughs> you take, uh, two damage. Oof. Given to me, madam. I assume, because technically I did the damage. Um, and then I'll use my other two batteries to... Yeah, I can't even get the wheels. Heavy hammer. That's my turn. Okay. Don't wear it out. Okay. I won't move you, but it'll still hit you. So I'm going to tackle you. Ooh. All right. I noticed Mighty went specifically after the black guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pit stop, so I heal one. Did I take it from here? You heal three. I heal you, three. You get one I victory get one, point. And then I take... You heal three. Three from here and put it here. And you can't go over your max. Okay. Yeah, and then you get two energy. Uh, usually they're four. Uh, five total. Oh, you suck. I don't like the way you had it. I'm sorry that I did it the way the game told me to. I'm just saying. <laughs> and so then I get two extra battery. And then I'm going to bring in some jump jets to move one, two. And then two more batteries. So I have four and I'll get. The... You can move or you can uh, buy. What is the command you do? Copies the effects of a function, attack, or battery that you played. That's in play, so that you play. Because when I finish my turn, they go away. I'm going to get an advanced battery. Advanced. Thank you. And then I have one extra one, so I'll get the skateboard. It's like rocket power. You guys remember that? From Nickelodeon? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. I do, actually. Damn it. All right, so I'm going to play the advanced AI. Oh, I may put a card from my <laughs> discard pile on top of my deck. And I get four move. I'm just going to put all these out now since I have to do anything anyway. So I have four battery, four move. I'm going to move. Move one here. Oh, I have four move. Two, actually, one. one, push you. Two, three. Um, four. I'll go there. And then I'll move him with the last move. And with my... Can you do that? Can you split move? I'll have to read just because this is the two-player variant that we're doing. Uh, each player gets two-player boards at the beginning of the derm. Your energy and move are shared between your robots. Okay. I'm just trying to keep me on my toes. 
That makes sure. Um, and then with my four energy, I'm gonna buy two heavy hammers. That's my turn. So how much does it cost to move? It costs one to move, one, one energy to move. One energy to move? Yeah. I'm gonna play one energy to move. Fuck me. And then with four, I'm gonna buy that hydro fuel, hydrogen fuel. Hydro thunder. Is that it? Yes. All right. I'm gonna play hypercharge. So I get to draw a card. Fuck. Jeez. I need attacks. <laughs> All right. So then I have three, four, five, six, seven. You buy the Tesla coil. Or the crossbow. I'm by the crossbow. In case this costs one, I could buy it, but I can't. So that's it. Oh, I have one extra energy. Oh. Um, what does the Tesla coil do? It's a range. It has a range of one, uh -huh. damage of two, but you can pay extra money when you go to attack um, to add that much damage. Or extra energy, I should say. So, like, you could pay, like, five energy to do mm -hmm. seven damage. Okay. I'm guessing. I'm going to buy that. Okay. Let's counter out. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's live. Overclock. Plus three energy or scrap this card and gain plus four. All right, so I'm going to pay two energy. One, two. Then I'm going to do a hammer on a pug, mm -hmm. so one damage. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do a wrecking ball that deals uh, damage to each robot in melee, so mm -hmm. both of yours take two damage. And then with my final battery, mm -hmm. I'm my turn. I'm gonna pogo stick. So one, two. How dare you? And you take a damage. And then I'm gonna hammer. Wanna play my trap card? You? Here it is. Um actually I'll first do a wrecking ball. So you take two damage instead of one. And you're dead. So you're still doing no, I had three. I put one aside because you did hammer, and then you said, actually, I'm going to do the wrecking ball. Yeah. So you would have taken two damage instead of the one that you put aside. So then I'm not dead. I have one left. left. Oh, that, that blue one? Yeah. Okay, now you... There, there you go. So then I get knocked out, and you gain the blue one, with, obviously. Those are worth more points. That's why. Uh, I see. Different I see, I see. Like, this is one, five, and I want to say three. Yeah, I see. I see. I see that I might see. We're going to use one, two batteries to move one, two. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. How do I get back into the fight? Whenever you or another friendly lo robot loses health on your turn, for example, if you only move on to the attack style, you also lose victory points. When you lose a red health cube, you lose one victory point. When you lose a blue health cube, you lose two. All red cubes lost this way go to the reserve. All right, so then those two that I did to you went to the reserve. When I knocked you into the, the, the tax. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, when an effect gives you victory points, claim that many red cubes in reserve and add them to your victory point pile. Uh, whenever a robot loses their last health cube, they're knocked out and temporarily removed from the game board. If X says knock out a robot, they also lose it. If your weapon is knocked out during next respawn phase. Oh, yeah, because our, our turns are um, start to turn, respawn, main phase, end of phase, cleanup phase. But. All right, so on my next respawn phase, I'm going to come out over here. Then I am going to jump jet. One, two. Battery. One, two, three. 
hammer to do one damage draw. I'm gonna pogo stick. One, two. And then I'm going to. It won't knock you back a space, but I'm gonna ground pound you. That's another damage. No, I was just trying to see if. Then I'm gonna hammer you. Okay. And then with my two batteries, one, two, I will move. One, two. Uh oh, she can't buy. Can't buy. I am going to. <laughs> you good? I, I misread the tiles. Mm -hmm. Can I change his movement since it didn't do anything outside of him moving? Sure. Okay. He would have been here. And you need to bring back his life. Oh, yeah. Also, you need to take your health. Oh, you're right. Thank I'm you. not your keeper. <laughs> One, two. I just three. keeped for you. <laughs> <Bitch>. <laughs> Um, all right, so advanced battery, I'm going to buy a rocket punch. Then, uh, I'm going to spend one to move here. What does that do? Uh, at the start of my turn, if I'm there, I can scrap a card. Okay. And then I'm going to use two or, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna use those two to buy a heavy hammer. And then jump jets. One, two. Okay, but you can't buy him. I cannot. Okay. I'm gonna use jump jets. So one and two. And then I'm gonna use my battery to go one. And this would be a range of one, correct? No, range of one is one around you. Interesting. But that But it, when it's mel when it's range of one, you can do diagonal as well. As opposed to melee, which is just north, south, east, west. Okay. Just kidding. Okay. What does this do? Uh, at the start of your turn, if you're on there, you gain one energy. Okay. I'm glad I moved then, huh, guys? Yeah. She was coming. Ooh, Lord, she was coming. Clap works there. You snapped. I've seen you snap before. Okay. Now it's your turn. Yes. So I moved. Jump jets. Um, and that will be my turn. That's it. Yeah. You're too far away from me. Burn. Uh, since I'm on the scrap heap, I can scrap one card. I'm gonna get rid of one of the starter batteries, and then I'm gonna move one with a battery, and then use three to buy. A rivet gun. That's all she wrote. Uh, I'm going to move with three batteries. One, two, three. And then I'm going to hammer you. Okay. And then I'm going to ground pound you. All right. She knocks him out. <laughs> Somehow my tactic of buying things has screwed me over. You done? Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to have him respawn here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he has a lot. Yeah, he does. One, two, seven. All right. Uh, starting my turn, I could scrap something. I am not going to. I'm going to start off with a hypercharge, draw a card, the next attack card you play this turn deals one plus damage for each function that you have in play. All right, that still worked out. Um, one, two, three. And then heavy hammer to do two damage. And because I killed her, I get one of these and a card. Oh, sweet. I definitely won't be able to use this. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well. I'll use one to go up here. 
And then my crossbow goes away. Yeah, it happens. All right, so I spawn respawn. here. Respawn. Well, yeah. Yep. You can respawn anywhere you want on there. Yeah, that's where I spawn. Um, with... Put your health on there. I am. I was just about to. And then I'm going to use three These turns. so I can optimize. It's almost like an inefficient shuffler shuffle these. I'll get another three to optimize. And then I'll move one. Okay. All those cards that I was looking for. Let me use a battery to move one. Go up there. And uh, that's my turn. I like that the pink robot's name is Pug. Why? He's just cute. Okay. He's <laughs> <laughs> just cute. He's just a cute little puppy. Your turn. Okay. I'm going to pit stop to heal Strider. So he heals three. Or it heals three. Um, And then I get one cube. And, and plus two, two energy. Plus two energy. There's plus a jackhammer. Plus two energy. If this attack knocks out a robot, draw two cards. Um. And then I'll spend four for that jackhammer. Suck. <laughs> okay. Your turn. She has five health? Yeah. The blue one counts as a health. Oh. I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> the ways that she be cheating, y'all. It really is not a cheat. You didn't tell me that. The ways that she be cheating. Um. It is my turn. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two... Okay. <clears throat> Advanced AI and jump jets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn it. Nothing's going to work. It doesn't really matter anyway. I'm going to go there. And then... Heavy Hammer to do a till damage to you. Wrecking Ball to deal two damage to you. Advanced Battery. What does that thing do? That one. The one up top? Mm. Draw one card, discard one card at the start of your turn. Mm. Oh, hold on. Since my turn didn't start yet. Or end yet. All right. I'm going to move two. Rocket powered skateboard. And then I'm going to hammer. I like to put them there in case you have more things that so I'm going to move two again. And then with six battery, I'll do the grappling cramp. The clamps. And then I'll do the overclock. Clock. Thank you. Or clamp-like accessories. Oh, the le laser cannon. I was going to say the lesser cannon. Um... All right, since I'm on the scrap heap, I'm gonna get rid of battery. And then... Jump jets. One, two. Heavy hammer. Which means I get an additional one. Uh, Two battery. And that 
is my turn. Alright, I'm gonna spawn. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I won't spawn there. I will spawn... Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. I have six batteries. Mm -hmm. I'll get the boomerang. And then can you put another thing out, please? If you insist, the acid blast, the heavy hammer, the acid blaster. Oh, uh, okay. That's weird. I would have gone with the heavy hammer, but you know, it's just me. <laughs> and then apparently, the person who shuffled these did an okay, but not great job. <laughs> I already, I didn't use a pogo stick to move. You um, did not, but you can move. And I will not. Move. She will not. All right. So we got two respawns left before the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to scrap a battery. And then I'm going to use... Two batteries. Oh, since I was there, I got to draw one and discard one. Discard this battery. One, two... And then, rocket punch. It does one damage to you. Because okay. you're three within three. But I cannot use its special effect. It allows me to scrap a card and add its cost. And that is the end of my turn. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, come on, baby, let me know. My pogo stick. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. Okay. I'm gonna actually use two batteries. So one, two. Uh oh. Wrecking ball to do two damage to you. Came in like a wrecking ball. Oh, I was supposed to draw a card when I did that. That's fine. I'm not going to do it. And then pogo stick. Go. One, two. One, two. And then the battery. True. She smacked the shit out of me a few times. Done? Yes. All right. Uh, Since I started there, let's grab a battery. Then I am going to move with said battery. <laughs> and then heavy hammer. Oh, she's so healthy. Yes. Rivet gun for two damage. Damn. Blowing holes in her body. And then because I did that, I gain one. And draw a card. Oh, that would have been useful. And with one, I'll take a step back. That's my turn. Okay. I spawn? I need to make change. No. One, two, three. Oh, I should make change as well. There you go. Since I'm balling. Um, I'll spawn here. One of the inch play. Uh oh. She's coming for blood. <laughs> she is. <laughs> In the aggressive stance. <laughs> um, actually, I'll go. Yeah. Oh, the aggression has uh, has died down. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'll go here. I'm gonna say the the ending just so mm -hmm. we're both are clear. Uh huh. How the game up. Okay. Just before, I think something happens and you go, you piece of shit. Okay. When a robot would respawn, but there are no more blue health cubes left in the reserve, the game ends. Okay. Then we count our points. One okay. red cube is worth one point. Each mm -hmm. blue cube is worth two points. Those are worth five. Okay. Don't count any other cubes on the player board, and then play with the most ones. Right. So I'm going to move two. One. Two. Two. Um, and, and then hammer. end your turn. Oh. And then. Petri. I'm gonna move. 
Three? No, I can't move that much. Why not? Because I need to get to you, and I won't be able to get to you. No. You shouldn't have killed Petri. You should have killed, you know, come after your all. Creep. One, two, three. And that's my turn. Okay. Luckily for me, she played right into my trap card. With two movement. One, two. Oh, I'm not going to scrap anything. Uh, shoot you with a crossbow. For three mm -hmm. damage. With one movement. I hit you with my heavy hammer for two. Oof. Too bad, Petri. I got you to respond there. One, two, three, four. I'm done. Um, I can't go. So then, does the game end? Oh, shit. That really was a trap card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is the end of the game. Um, Madi can't respawn Pug, so we're going to count up. And then meet us at the score. Do we count the ones we have here still? No. Okay. How so much do basically the blue these ones just go away. For? Blues are two, reds are one, gems are five. Just in case I have to show my math later. I think you won. I think you won? Oh. Okay. I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27, 29, 31. I have 23. 23. All right. Finally, Finally thoughts. thoughts. So, Madi, how did you feel about this game? Um, I really like it. It's a cute little deck builder. I mean, it's not like super different than any other deck builders. Mm -hmm. Um, I do really like the little robot miniatures. Right. That was ninety percent of the reason I They're backed so it. They're so cute. Like, I don't know. Like, this dude for me for some reason is just the cutest thing ever because he kind of looks like a spider. Pug looks so cute to me. Well, we'll take pictures of our of our uh, yeah. and there are colors. Yeah. They are. Oh my god. It's um, like it was meant to be. Serendipity. But I had a lot of fun. Um, I'd play it again. I'd give it like a 3.5 just because it's not like anything Innovative. super new. Yeah. yeah. But I love it a good deck builder, so 3.5. I'm going to give it a... Uh, well, I'll, I'll talk about what I like first. It does emulate the feeling of like Robot Wars. You're, you're yeah. running around the field, hitting people, imagining like, you know, a hammer coming out and bopping Pug on the head or shooting out little bullets from mm -hmm. a rivet gun. So um, in that respect, it did exactly what it set out to be. And also, I like that while it is a um, a deck builder that doesn't do much different, the on-the-board element is at least a little different. It reminds me a lot of Ignite, which we've played before. Um, I don't think you've actually played Ignite, I don't think I've played which that. we should get you to play Ignite. Um, Ignite, where it's a deck builder, but you get to move around the board. And I like the elements of, because in Ignite, you can kind of hide for a while. And this one, you can't hide. And I like that. Like, really... As soon as you go to get to buy something, you're close range to your enemy. Mm -hmm. So there's less running around, which makes the games a little quicker. Like this was, what, 40, 50 minutes, and that was with some reading and shit. So I'm going to give it a four. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I we have expansions from the or uh, additional cards from the Kickstarter that I'd like to mm -hmm. see what they do, the tile. But anyway, thank you all for watching. That's a four from me. A 3.5 from Mati gives us a 3.75, mm -hmm. which I'd call admirable. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check down below for ways that you can support us on Patreon or on YouTube. And come back next time for more ways in which Jared might win. Bye, y'all. Bye. Good job, Marty. Good job, Jared.